recording us all. There we go. Okay, so everybody, so this is sort of like a yoga Pilates type of class. So I want you all to just turn round so that you've got to the le a nice length of mat there or length of carpet to spread out on and sitting nice and tall, right up on your sit bones, nice and tall, shoulders back, chest open, really focusing on keeping those shoulder blades back and down, nicely down the back, hands down by your sides and feet flat on the floor. And just eyes forward, nice deep breath. So breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just focusing on that breath, filling up those ribs and exhaling through the mouth. Nice big breaths. Good, now nice and controlled. I just want you to lengthen out your legs and flex your feet. So just flex those feet, toes in towards the knees. And then you're gonna lay that spine down piece by piece. So put the arms out in front and then just roll back, laying the spine down from the bottom of the spine by the sacrum there. And then gradually uncurling to the top, right the way to the top and then taking the arms overhead and having a nice full body stretch there at the top. So lengthening out through those arms, lengthening out through the feet, having a nice stretch here to start with. And then bringing the knees into the chest and having a nice hug here. Shoulders stay gliding down the back and just rock side to side, just loosening everything up now. Just a really small rocking side to side. Pulling the right knee in and lengthening the left leg out and just giving it a nice hug in and then switching. Good, then both knees coming back in. Popping those feet back down on the floor, drawing the tummy muscles in rounding the back up so the chin comes up to the chest, lifting those shoulders off the floor, taking the arms out, ready for the hundred. So warming up the body, nice warm up here with the hundred, pumping those arms up and down, breathing in and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Keep going, and if you can, bringing the legs up to tabletop. Still going with the breaths, nice and even, pulling the tummy in, keeping the chin into the chest, and roll up through those shoulders. Then lengthening the legs up towards the ceiling. Good, eyes towards the navel, fix those eyes towards that navel, and draw in. One more breath. Good, bring the knees into the chest and then let the head go down, that's good. Okay, lengthening out those legs along the floor, flexing the feet again, so toes towards the knees, hands up to ceiling, ready for the roll up. So bringing the chin to the chest, we're peeling up off the mat, exhaling for a stretch forward, draw the tummy back, reach forward, really stretch it, really reach and stretch. Really, really reach and stretch. Roll back, so lay the spine down piece by piece by piece. Arms go back, hands up, chin to chest, peel up, draw the tummy in, keep the shoulders down. Exhale, reaching forward. Inhale as you roll back. And then exhale to reach and stretch it back. Inhale, hands up, chin to chest. Rolling up as we exhale and reach forward. Rolling back. Last time we're rolling up now, so hands up, chin to chest, rolling up. And then popping the hands by the sides and just pushing yourself forward towards the front of your mat for rolling like a ball. Bringing your heels in towards your bottom, making a bracelet around your shins and then picking yourself up so that your feet are up off the floor and you're on those sit bones. Dropping the chin down to the chest drawing the tummy muscles in, shoulders down away from the ears. And then we're rolling back and up again, just between those shoulder blades. So it's an inhale to roll it back and an exhale 
roll up. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, roll up. So as you're rolling up, I want you to really use your tummy scoop. So really drawing the belly button to spine to bring yourself up, to power yourself up. Focusing on keeping those shoulders down as well. Don't let them creep up around those ears. Keeping them down. Good, one more time. Hovering there at the top of the mat. Now bringing the right knee in towards you, lengthening the left leg out, rolling yourself down onto your back, ready for the single leg stretch. So if you need to, take the legs up into a high position just to make it a bit easier, and then switch, switch. But if you can, lengthen it long to 45, reach through the leg, reach, reach, reach. Tummy muscles pulling in, back lengthened into the mat, pulling that knee in each time, nice stretch here, and lengthening with the opposite leg. Stretch and stretch, that's it. Just switching, two and one. Well done, resting the head down, taking a deep breath here. Now we're taking the arms and legs out long for a double leg stretch. So again, chin comes up to chest, get those shoulders up off the floor, reach it long and hug back round. Reach long, hug back round. Reach and hug. Reach and hug. And if you can, going out to 45, take it long, hug it back in. So it's a really big reach and then a hug back in. It's a reach and it's a hug. Reach, last two here, last one. Hugging in, rest the head down, take a deep breath. Ready now for the scissor legs or single straight leg stretch. So chin up to chest, right leg up, left leg out, or if you need to keep the left leg bent there and pull, 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 pull. So it's fine to keep a bit of a bend in the legs, if you need to, especially if you want to rest the head down, you can hold on behind the thigh and you can keep a bent leg, like so. Or you can bring it up to the advanced here with the straight legs. That's it. Two and one. Bringing those knees into chest, give them a nice big hug in. That's it. Lovely, make the most of that little rest in between each move. Okay, into lower lift. So bringing the chin up to the chest, taking the hands behind the head, just the hands one on top of the other, elbows going out wide, lengthening up the legs to ceiling. Then easier version is to bend the legs and just tap and lift, tap down, lift. Again, if you can, long levers, lengthen out the legs all the way down and lift, down and lift, lower and lift, lower, lift. Still scooping the tummy, eyes to navel, tummy muscles getting a bit tired so it is hard to maintain that lift, but if you need to, pop the hands under the bum, easier version here, it's getting a bit tough. But just a couple more anyway, so that's five. Last two and last one. Good, bringing the knees into the chest, resting the head down, taking a nice deep breath here. Ready for that final one of that ab five, the crisscross. So bringing the chin up to the chest, hands behind the head again, right knee coming in towards the chest. Left leg lengthening out to 45. Twisting across to that right knee, holding that position. And then we're switching. So we criss, cross, criss, 
cross. If this gets a bit tough, just put that other leg down each time instead of lengthening out. Make it a little bit easier. If that's still a bit too tough, keep the feet down. Just do the upper body twist. You've got a lot of variations here. A lot of modifications. You work at your own level. Don't push yourself too hard. Just push yourself enough. You know what I mean. Okay. Four, three, two, and one. Bringing these into the chest, taking a nice deep breath. If you weren't feeling warmed up before and warm before, which I'm sure you were because of the weather, um, you will be now. So hands to ceiling, transitioning into the next move nice and smoothly. So hands to ceiling, chin to chest, feet flexed, rolling up nice and controlled. Hope I didn't go out of shot because I know I sidled off the end of the mat there. Okay, so sitting up in the center of the mat there, into the saw, so taking the legs out wide, feet are flexed. So we're adding a bit of a twist to this one and some, some stretching here. So arms go back, shoulders back and down, really opening up through that chest, feet are flexed still. And then we're twisting it around to the right foot and aiming to saw off our little toe with our little finger. Three, two, one, my back palm is up, you see that, my back palm is up. Inhale to the center, twist it around to the other side and reach again, three, two, one. Inhale, center, really lift up out of the waist on that cent coming to center, twist across and reach. Two, three, inhale, center, twist, exhale, reach, two, Three, just two more here. Take it center, really open up the chest, twist it round and reach. Two, three, last time to the other side and reach. Two, three, good. Coming up to center, just crossing those legs. We're just going to move over to all fours. So just come forward over those knees, come to all fours. We're just gonna lower ourselves down onto our tummies here. So lower yourself down. And we're gonna do this, the uh, swan dive prep, okay? And then, and then our first little sort of yoga, more of a yoga move after this. So, and you'll see the similarity when I start to do it. Okay, so swan dive prep. You've got your hands either side of your chest, your elbows tucked in tightly to the sides of your body, really, really tightly tucked in your tummy scooping in, even though you can't see it, we can't see it, your gaze looking down at your mat so that your neck is lengthened straight up through the spine and up through the neck to the top of the head. And then you're just gonna press up here. So don't straighten the arms, just keep the hips down. And I want you to turn your head to look to the right, turn down to look at the floor, turn your head to look to the left, Look to the center and then lengthen through the crown to come down. Up we come again. Turning the head to look to the left this time. Turning it down to look to the floor. Turning it round to look to the right. And turning it to look to the center. And then bringing it down. Now we're gonna do something that's called the cobra. So uh, this is actually a yoga move, but you'll see the similarity. So you've still got the same position with the hands and you're going to press up, but you're not going to try and straighten up those arms because you're keeping the hips on the floor and you're just holding that position and taking the head up. So you're getting a little bit more of a back bend here, a little bit more of an extension through the back, holding it there, keeping the elbows in nice and tight and then bringing it back down. Still lengthening through that crown. Do you see the similarity there? And again, we're going to come up into that cobra position. So pressing up, keeping a bend in those arms, don't try and straighten, keeping the hips glued to the floor, extension through the back here. Chest stays open, shoulders stay down. It's a very strong move. And lengthen it down. Well done. 
So staying here, I want you to just prop yourself up onto your elbows. Make two fists, bring your fists together in the center. So you're making sort of like a triangle here. So soft pointy toes, so soft point with the toes. It's single leg kick into the bum. Okay, so tummy scooping off the floor. Three kicks into your bottom here. So kick, kick, kick. Then switch legs. Kick, kick, kick. Other side. Kick, kick, kick. Kick, kick, kick. Kick, kick, kick. Kick, kick, kick. Last time. And then the other side. Good, okay, now let yourself relax down. Just take your hands down by your sides and turn your, turn your, to rest your cheek down on the floor and just relax for a moment. Take a deep breath here. That's it. Now just taking the hands into the small of the back. So just holding onto one hand, placing them in the small of the back gluing the legs together, and then bringing the heels into the bum together, three kicks in towards the bottom. So it's kick, kick, kick. Then as you extend back, I want you to lift the chest off the floor, reach the hands out behind, and then turn to face the other way and bring it back in again. And again we go, so it's three kicks in, kick, kick, kick. Then lengthen out the legs, Lift, reach behind, turn to face the other way. And again, kick, kick, kick. Lift and reach behind and turn to face the other way. Bring it back in. Kick, kick, kick. Extend, lift and reach and turn to face the other way. Good, bring the arms back down by your sides. Just relax for a moment. That's it. Then bringing the hands either side of the chest, I want you to bring yourself up to all fours. Now, cat cow, which actually we do the cat cow stretch um, quite a lot, but cat cow is actually uh, used in yoga, the yoga poses. So, in fact, we've been doing it all along. Okay, so really focusing here. So let's go into the cat stretch first. You've got neutral spine to start with, straight out through the top of the head. Then we're going into cat stretch. So you're gonna draw the tummy muscles in, round the back up towards the ceiling, drop the head down, look towards the tummy, holding that stretch. And then you're gonna go the other way. So you're gonna just let the tummy go down, the bottom go up in the air, the head lifts up. So the back arches here as the tummy goes down. And back into cat again. So you're gonna round the back up. Don't forget to breathe here, breathe into these stretches. Rounding the back up, tummy scooping in, eyes towards the navel. and into the cow stretch. Now we're going to go into what we would normally go into rest position, but we're going to go into child's pose. So keeping the feet together, taking the knees a little bit wider. We sit back on the heels. We outstretch the hands, really, really spread out those fingers and reach, stretch forward, and just let the head come down to the floor in the middle there. And you'll find you can just stretch forward a little bit more so you get a really good stretch, almost like an extended child's pose here. Just breathing in and exhaling. Holding that position. And coming back up to 
to all fours. In fact, just briefly coming back up to all fours. So you can just cross your legs behind. And I just want you to come back again so that you're ready in this position to go back down onto your back. And we're gonna do some teaser work, but we're gonna mix it up with some, some yoga moves here again. So we're gonna start off with the teaser prep. So feet flat on the floor, taking the arms out in front, just leaning back into that V position, tummy scooping in, shoulders back and down, holding that position, just breathing, pulling the tummy in, shoulders staying back. And then you're just gonna roll yourselves back and then exhale, roll up, back up into the straight back V position. Curl down into the roll, roll back, roll up, inhale back, exhale up, good, okay, now you're going to come into the next position, which is a tabletop leg position in the teaser, so still teaser prep, but actually before we go into that, you're going to take your arms down so they're straight forward into what's called a half boat pose. And that is the yoga pose, half boat. So breathing in and out. Now when I'm not gonna go through the yoga breathing here with you too much, that's breathing in and out through the nose, a bit more to it than that. So our Pilates breath is fine for the moment. So we'll get more into the yoga breath as the sessions move on. But just don't hold your breath. Remember to breathe nice and evenly. Just pop those feet down. Just have a little stretch forward. Just take the hands here on the shins and just round over a little bit. Okay, so into that teaser prep with the tabletop legs. So taking the legs back up, adding the roll down here. So take it back and exhale up. Inhale back and exhale up. Inhale back and exhale up. Good, just popping the feet down briefly, giving you a little rest in between here. So we're gonna go into the full teaser position, but before we go into full teaser position, we're gonna actually go into the boat position for yoga, or the boat, boat, boat pose, I should say. Um, so it is very much like the teaser position. So you're gonna take the legs up, but this time you're gonna leave the arms either side like you did in the half boat. If that gets too strong, you can go back into tabletop or you can put your feet down on the floor, knees bent, and just lean back to just really strengthen up that core. Breathing into the move. Everything starts to get a little bit shaky. So bring it down. Just hugging round. So going into, if you can, our full teaser move. If it's too strong, so it's our rolling back and up in full position. But if that's too strong, remember, you can just keep those feet on the floor, roll back and up in the teaser prep position, okay? Or you can literally just hold it in this modified position. That's completely up to you. Just go at your own pace. Don't, don't push it, work at your level, okay? So if you can, it's legs up, arms up, and then we're rolling back, and exhale up. Inhale back, and exhale up. Inhale back, and exhale up. Popping those legs down, good. Have a little stretch forward. I'm really kind to you, I'll let you have a stretch forward. Okay, so. Popping the feet out now, out in front, feet flexed, hands out in front, spine stretch forward here, sitting up nice and tall, shoulders back and down, feet flexed, the toes towards the knees, taking the chin down towards the chest, taking the nose down through the arms, the crown of the head comes down, so rounding over and then reaching as we exhale, inhaling, roll up. And again, chin down, nose over, crown down, exhaling, and then reaching, inhaling, to roll, roll, roll back up. 
exhaling to roll it, roll it, roll it down, pulling the, stuff, the tummy back as you reach, keeping the shoulders down, away from the ears, rolling up. One more time, chin down, nose over, crown down, reaching, holding the stretch here. Now if you can, taking the hands down onto the, the backs of the feet, they're the bottoms of the feet, or if that's too strong, just holding onto the shins, pulling the tummy in. Deep breaths, extend through your waist on the inhale, and then stretch a little bit further, further over on the exhale. Really lifting through the chest here. That's it. Good. Fantastic. Okay. So nice and controlled, we're gonna roll down. So just roll it down nice and slow, that's it. Doesn't matter if your knees are bent or outstretched, as long as you control it down nice and slow. So we're gonna go it up into a, a bit of a shoulder stand here, but it's with our bicycle and our scissor legs. So these two are in fact uh, very yoga inspired in the sense that you are coming up onto, onto those shoulders. So bringing the knees into chest to start with, and then you're just gonna take your legs up and you're just going to press up with your palms and take your legs up towards the ceiling so you're right up and over so you lift up and you come up high if you can tummy scooping bring those elbows in a bit that's it and then you do the scissor big scissor legs if this is a bit strong for you just lower down a little bit or we'll bring it right the way down and just scissor legs here with Maybe the hands popped underneath the bum there, just as the legs. But if you can, bring it up and scissor legs. Even breathing here, tummy scooping. Keep scissoring those legs. Keep breathing. Bring the legs together. Now bicycle legs. That's good. Reverse the bicycle legs. I always find this a bit tricky, even though cycling backwards is always easier on a bike. Your legs seem to want to go backwards sometimes and it's easier. Try and do it up in the air like this. Coordination goes out the window. That's it. And just let the arms go down, just fold back. And then nice and slowly and controlled, roll down towards the floor. And then when your legs reach the ceiling, just Bring it in for a nice hug here. Nice deep breath, little rock side to side. Little circle with the knees. Round the other way. Lengthen out those legs again. Hands up to ceiling. Flex the feet chin to chest, roll yourselves up, make sure you're back in the centre here, that's it. And then you're just going to take yourself over to the side now, for some side leg series. So right along the back of your mat, nice straight line, really nice long straight line. Pick up the legs, bring them forward into a pike position, Remembering to lengthen through the top of the leg, keep the hips nicely stacked, one on top of the other, nice alignment here. Take that hand, pop it in front of the chest there. And let's just lift and lower those legs. So soft point and then lift up, flex the foot to pull down. So just slightly turn the toes out. Point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. 
point up, flex down, point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. One more, point and flex. Let's circle it now, circle forwards, big circles. That's it. If it's too, if it clicks the hip, just decrease the size of that circle. Just take it round. Brilliant. Now reverse it, take it round the other way. Good. Now bending that top knee, just taking the leg down, focusing on the inner thigh, working on the inside of that thigh there. So lifting up the leg to create that tension. Soft point with the toe, pressing up here, pressing up, lift and lift. Really scooping the tummy in, don't forget your scoop, and really pressing to work that inner thigh. So really lifting from the very top of the leg, lift, and lift. That's it, lift and lift. Good, really pressing up. Now circle forward with that leg. Circle it. That's it. Now we're gonna reverse it, so take it back. Really making that inner thigh work, focus, reach, lift, make the inner thigh work, put your mind in the muscle. That's good. Lengthen out your legs, roll yourself round onto your tummy. Pressing up the legs here, just popping the hands in front, just looking down at the mat. If you want to, you can rest your head down, or you can just lift up that chest a little bit and then just opening and closing the legs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lowering it down. One more time. Lift up. Open and close the legs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now taking the arms out. So out in front, stretch them out for some swimming. Lifting up here, holding that back body's working. Just lift, squeeze, and lower. Exhale, lift, squeeze. Inhale, lower. Exhale to lift and squeeze. Inhale to lower. Into the swimming now, lift up. Flutter those arms and legs. And lower. Lift up. Flutter the arms and legs. And lower, really reaching through those arms and legs. One more time, lifting up, arms and legs going. You wouldn't get far with this, would you? And lower. Good, bringing yourself up to all fours. Into child's pose again now. So feet together, knees apart a little bit. Sit yourself back on those heels. Outstretch the hands in front, spread the fingers. Rest the head down. Feel the stretch, breathe into the stretch here, nice and relaxed. That's good. So now we're going to go into a high plank. 
So I want you to bring your hands down underneath your shoulders, so directly under the shoulders. Spread the fingers, just take everything square. So take the feet out. Back to the feet are uh, on the floor at the moment. Okay, spread the fingers. I want the index ping fingers pointing to the front or even slightly turned out. Okay. And then we're just gonna take it back into a high plank. So I just want you to take one foot back and the other foot back into a high plank position, pulling everything in, breathing. And then we're gonna go into what's called the downward dog. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just press through those palms, lift the hips up in the air, press back through the tailbone, adjust your feet if you need to, bring them in slightly. At heels are up. If you can, you're going to press down through the heels. If you can't, that's fine. Just keep them a bit lifted. Really press up through the tailbone. Now pressing these, pressing the biceps away from the ears, pressing through the fingers, through the hands, really lifting up through the hips, pressing those shoulders away from the ears, down away from the ears, and the biceps away from the sides of the face there. Breathing into the stretch. And I just want you to now pedal the feet a bit. So just pedal. So lift the heel and lift the heel. Just pedaling those feet. That's it. Back into just that downward dog position. And then you're going to just come forward over those hands again, bring the knees down, bring yourself up. And I want you to just step the right foot forward into a low lunge. So hands either side of that right foot. Just make sure the knee is back at the back there into a low lunge, stretching out the hip flexor. And then sit back stretch out the back of that front leg take it forward again just pick up that back knee and then you're going to step that right foot back so you're back in your plank position you can drop the knees down and you're going to just step forward with the other leg now the left leg steps forward. You go into that low lunge. Just sinking forward into the low lunge. And then sitting back, straightening out the front leg. Breathing into that stretch. Forward again. Back one more time. Okay, bring it forward, just picking up that back knee, stepping back, bringing the knees down, just popping the hands down nice and flat. Okay, final child's pose here. Sitting back. Then up you come. Then I just want you to sit yourself back and put the legs through. Take yourself forward, roll yourself down onto your back. Full body stretch, so take the arms behind, reach through the fingertips, reach through the toes, really big stretch, 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 stretch. And just to finish, we're gonna finish with a pose that you generally always finish with in yoga, called the corpse pose. You take your legs out a little bit wider. Take your hands down by your sides, your arms down by your sides. Just take your arms out a little bit and palms towards the ceiling and just let the, the feet go out to the sides. The palms go up. And you just focus here on your breathing and just relaxing every part of your body. 
So starting from your face, right at the top, your head, relaxing, relaxing your cheeks, relaxing your mouth, letting go of that jaw, don't clench that jaw, just relax it, relax the shoulders, relax the tops of the arms, relax the forearms, relax the fingers, give the fingers a little wriggle, relax, now relax them, relax the tummy, just let it relax, relax the glutes, relax the legs, let them go, relax the feet, relax the toes, Breathing now, letting go of everything. Deep breaths. And you're going to very slowly just turn yourself over into the fetal position onto one side. So just turn yourself over to the side, whichever side is more comfortable to you. Perhaps use your lower arm and just use your, your top of your arm as a bit of a pillow there and just rest. And then very, very slowly, you just bring yourself up to sitting. So just bring yourself up nice and slowly, sitting yourself in a cross-legged position comfortable position, deep breath, very yogury finish here. So just taking your hands into prayer position, so centre heart position there, up to the head, and then let's do it, namaste. Well done everybody, I hope you enjoyed that yoga pilates class, we are done. Thank you very much. I shall come and stop recording and unmute you all.